for us. As a company, we do believe the energy transition and the energy solution to our energy mix is a combination of all the available types of energy. So we do believe we are complementary to oil and gas and hydrocarbon. Uh, so we don't say, oh, choose electricity instead. No. For instance, you heard there was some talk about distribution of gas. It's a big challenge. And not only is, is it a big challenge, the infrastructure to actually distribute gas is massive. But because we have tremendous amount of gas, we are a gas Really, we are more of a gas-producing company, a country, than an oil-producing country, right? But if you now imagine that, even though you have a distribution problem, you have a situation where, say, you have a bus company that has 300 buses. You are running the buses from 4 a.m. till 8 p.m., you're actually burning 300 generators, diesel generators, for 18 hours a day. Now, if those buses were electric buses, you're still burning hydrocarbon, but you're, still bur you're only burning it during the three to four hours you use to charge those buses. Massive. Therefore, it eases your distribution problem because the amount of distribution you have to get to each of the bus terminal is reduced. So that tells you right there where electric vehicle contribution comes in. Cost of ownership is much lower with us. Cost of maintenance is much lower. So that's one way that we are able to impact operational cost right off the bat, And we are ready for that. So in our case, we see electric vehicles as an integral part of the entire solution. Let me give you another quick example. You will find out that we truly believe that electric power for charging can actually be provided using gas and even diesel distillate as a source. Now, people say, well, you are electric power, why are you not using um, solar? But the truth is that the cost of battery, the cost of battery storage is tremendous, much more than it's going to cost you with gas. So therefore, the possibilities of actually producing electric power for charging and then using electric mobility is more of a seamless pathway. So that is how we believe that the electric vehicle infrastructure is very additive and will reduce the cost of implementing all the plans that they have for CNG and, uh, you know, we are part of the solution. We are not uh, here to say, oh, you, you shouldn't use this. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, you know, uh, and do, don't forget that if we are able to reduce the amount of hydrocarbon you're burning, then we are helping the climate. So electric power is, uh, you know, electric vehicles is in, an integral part of the solution. Saglev uh, is advancing electric vehicle adoption. We are already at production. We have a factory that is opening in about four weeks in terms of the actual readiness to assemble. We have trained uh, already over 17, 18 electric vehicle technicians. We have hired them over six months ago. These guys are ready to go. So we are ready. That's uh, where Saglev is. So very soon you will see you know, these cars, we are building a showroom and office in Victoria Island. So we are ready, we are basically ready to enter the market and show people the opportunities that are available.